Hello folks, my name's John Oaks. I am here today in our Homer City location here at Hangsters Hot Rods. And today I've got the honor to go over with you here this beautiful 1974 Ford Bronco here. It's been a little bit since we had a Bronco. They're always very popular and very quick sellers. Um, so I would tell you uh, if you are interested in this vehicle after we're done going over it with you, uh, definitely don't hesitate to give us a call on this vehicle or just get in touch with us some way, whether it's email or text messaging either. Um, again, this thing will not last long. But again, 1974 Ford Bronco. Um, as far as the color here, again, it's a color that really, really stands out. I don't know the exact color. I'm just going to say it's probably somewhere along the lines of like maybe a sunset orange or maybe a Corvette bronze. Uh, just a super nice color. Now I've been all the way around this vehicle here um, and it is super straight all the way back, both sides, all the way around the back end, everything. So again, always keep in mind to go to our website, check that out there, check the ad out for this vehicle because we're going to have upwards of about 100 photos along with the video there for this vehicle. Um, now again, uh, as we walk around this video, first thing we're going to notice, it's pretty tall. Now I'm short, but again, this is a pretty tall vehicle. It does have what looks to be maybe a two inch body lift on it. Uh, I am going to assume it does have a bit of a suspension lift on it. Also, I just am not sure exactly how much of a lift it has. Um, obviously here, as you can see, a little bit of a bigger oversized wheel and tire here. Now again, these wheels are super nice. These are the Dale Earnhardt Jr. Signature Series from American Racing. They are an 18 inch wheel. Uh, on them for rubber, we've got a set of Nitto Terra Grapplers. These are 325-65 R18s. As you can see, the tread's in great shape. The wheels are in great shape too. Um, the wheels though, they do have just a little tiny bit of pitting um, just around this lip right here. As far as any curb rash, these wheels do not have any of that. Super straight wheels in really good condition. Obviously, as you can see there from the uh, angle of the camera, this is a four wheel drive Bronco. Um, it does have the locking hubs up here. So if you ever get yourself into a situation where you need to utilize that four wheel drive, all you gotta do is shifter and four wheel drive, turn your hubs in, you've got four wheel drive right there for you. Now our Bronco, um, it's got a lot of the, uh, the chrome accents to it as far as the bumpers, uh, some of the moldings and trim. Uh, you can see the Bronco here done in the chrome. Also, the door hinges, those are chrome on both sides. Door, the mirrors on the doors on both sides, chrome. You can see that bright work, the trim around the wing windows in great shape. All of your seals here, those are in great shape too. Um, door handles too, no pitting on those door handles. And you can see how nice of a gap this thing has all the way around. A lot of times you'll see these Broncos, they can get pretty gappy as far as your doors go in relationship to your fenders and your quarters. This one, the fitment of the panels on this thing is remarkable. It is really a nice vehicle. Let's go ahead and open our door up. We'll check the interior out on this thing. And again, uh, this thing does not uh, fail to, uh, you know, um, you know, give you the, the pure, uh, just enjoyment of having a super nice Bronco. Color match dash, it's got the dash pad in it. It's got the Tuffy locking security um, center console box there for you with the armrest. You can see that beautiful tan and houndstooth interior, the wood grain wheel. It does have a retro sound radio in it as well. Just the factory gauges in it. Um, and again, it's an automatic shift on the column. Uh, when I say automatic, it is a C4 automatic transmission on this thing. Um, you can just see how nice the door panels are, um, all of the uh, upholstery on the door panels, even your armrests don't really show any kind of wear and tear whatsoever. Just a great looking vehicle inside as well as out on this vehicle. Again, the door shut nice and solid on this thing. There's no rattles at all in this thing. Um, you can see it's got the soft top. Now this is a best top 
super top with the tinted windows here. And this thing can be removed, obviously, if you want to go topless and just enjoy the good weather, the sun outside during the summertime. Um, or if you're in an area where you kind of have uh, like a beach environment, awesome vehicle to take out for that. Uh, obviously we can see the dual fuel fill doors here uh, and that does in fact mean this does have both fuel tanks and both are functional. Um, so you've got both of those fill uh, doors here and the fill necks and everything all plumbed and functional. Um, you just see the, you know, all the wheels and tires as we walk around, see how nice and super straight this thing is from front to back. We get to the rear of the vehicle here tailgate on this thing is in excellent condition here. You can see our tail light bezels and lenses, no cracks or chips to speak of, no pitting on any of that chrome and that bumper here also super nice as far as the bumper goes. Um, now I may have to come back around. Uh, we'll try it. I'm not sure how this actually comes off. Oh, there we go. There we go. We'll just bring that down. Obviously you've got your hinges here that holds that tailgate. Nice carpeting on that back side of that tailgate. You can see the black carpeting here. Of course you can see those roll bars that are painted up black also to kind of go along with that black carpeting. You do have the rear seat and again with these even though you do have to maybe unbolt them if you ever want to go without that back seat just unbolt it. And there you go, you have the full back then to put whatever you might want to put in there. So there's that. And you can see that top, it is in excellent condition. There's no rips, tears, or anything. All the stitching is intact on this thing. Just a really great looking vehicle. So we'll put the tailgate back up. Again, that closes nice. It does have the trailer hitch too, I want to point that out. Not that you'd be probably towing anything too big and elaborate, but it is there that if you want to put a small trailer or something behind you, you definitely have that capability with that. Of course, you probably want to go ahead and have like a little bit of a drop hitch so you can lower the tongue on your trailer. It does have the dual exhaust on it also. Um, when we do our underside video, I'll go over the exhaust a little bit more with you there, but it's go it does have the shorty style headers are ceramic coated headers, full dual exhaust with a set of accelerator turbo mufflers. And of course it's got the tailpipes right there that exit right out behind, or underneath that rear bumper. Now, as we come around to the passenger side, same thing here, super straight panels on this thing all the way from back to front. Uh, again, that top, you'll see just the condition of that top with those tinted windows is in great shape. Also, you know, we'll just, we'll get footage of the wheels and tires, all four of them. That way you see uh, how, how well those wheels and tires really look on this vehicle. Um, we will go ahead and open the passenger side door. That way you get to see the interior from both sides, see that there's nothing to be hid or anything here. So again, that color match dash, the tan and houndstooth interior, the black carpeting, the Tuffy security locking glove box there, or center console, I should say, which does have cup holders. It's got really nice door seal plates in here that are black to kind of blend in with everything else and kind of complete the theme. Um, all of your, you know, your seals and your weather stripping all the way around the doors on both sides is in great condition on this vehicle. And also you get to see that door panel on the passenger side. Again, no surprises here. This thing is in excellent condition. We close that. It shuts good and solid too. Like I said, there are no rattles on this thing. It's just a super nice vehicle. We've got the matching door hinges, the matching mirror, uh, the Bronco emblem. All of our glass is all in great shape. There's no chips or cracks anywhere. Windshield's in great shape too. And then we'll walk around to the front of the vehicle now, take a quick peek at that. Obviously we got the steel hood here, your gaps and so forth on the hood in the um, combination with your fenders not too bad here all looks really really nice as it all you know is all closed up and 
fitting good there. We got the color matched grill with some of the chrome accents as far as your headlight bezels. The headlights themselves, just your traditional sealed beam units, high and low beam all right there. Of course, you've got your parking light lenses here. Those are in great shape. Your Ford right across there, that's kind of chrome on the exterior. And then you got body color on the inside. And again, a matching front bumper to that rear bumper that's on there. And the chrome is just in excellent condition. Um, what we'll do at this point, since this is a little taller vehicle, for me to go ahead and open up this hood, going to be a little bit of a challenge to do all in one take here. So what I'm going to do is we'll go ahead and pause for just a second. All right, so here we are back now. We've got our hood open. First thing we want to take notice of is the underside of the hood. It's painted the same color as the exterior of the car. Of course, our fenders and our firewall and stuff, that's all black as well as the... Um, uh, core support here as well. Uh, everything looks very, very nice under the hood here too, by the way. Um, so first and foremost, the basics. Um, as far as our drive line goes, we've got a 302 cubic inch small block Ford engine right here in this car. Um, it is backed up by a C4 automatic transmission. Um, as far as the rear differential goes, that is a nine inch Ford rear end with a, uh, I believe a 343 gear. It's a posi unit in there. Um, now, as far as the front differential goes, that is a Dana 44. So good, good, uh, beefy, you know, drive line on this. It's going to get you anywhere you want to go. Um, as far as the specifics now with the motor, it is a 302. It does have the uh, kind of going from top to bottom. It's got the Spectre reusable style air filter, kind of the same principle as a K&N. You can clean them, re-oil them, reuse them. It does have a Holley four barrel automatic or four barrel carburetor. Um, underneath that, it looks like I'm just trying to get a peek here. Uh, probably the stock, probably cast intake on there. I'm thinking. Uh, I don't see any names on it per se. Um, so it's probably the cast one. As far as the ignition goes, you can see it's the stock style ignition. It does, however, have the MSD blaster coil. That's going to get you a little better spark there through those plug wires and down into that motor there to give you a little bit better combustion. Um, as far as the headers and getting this thing to breathe a little better, they are a nice set of shorty style uh, block hugger headers, uh, ceramic coated with dual exhaust. Um, as I mentioned, it does have the dual uh, accelerator turbo style mufflers on it, complete with tailpipes. Um, it does have, uh, for looks here, really nice looking set of uh, black finished valve covers um, that have been uh, machined there, the fins on them. They do have stamped in them, Bronco powered by Ford. Uh, you also see the, uh, the uh, breather here and it's ball milled. Uh, but it's black with the ball milled there, so it has a nice finish to it. Um, all of your hoses and stuff are plumbed nice and neat. You've got the Optima red top battery there to help deliver the power to it. Um, it is a power brake car. Now this has disc brakes on the front, drums out on the rear. It is a power steering vehicle as well. So along with the lift, it does come with that steering stabilizer as well with the power steering not gonna have any issues turning this car. Um, it does have a stock style radiator with a five blade fan in it. And uh, other than that, that's pretty much it as far as the, uh, the engine and kind of the rest of the drive line goes. Again, a 1974 Bronco in this condition, probably not gonna last very long. This is a very beautiful vehicle, very fun vehicle too for you, whether it's something that you like take out and cruise in, or whether, like I said, if you're located around a beach area or somewhere that has very nice weather, uh, you know, a lot of the, you know, for a good portion of the year, you can take that top off and enjoy getting the, the air, you know, the air and the wind in your hair. Um, just going to be a super, super fun vehicle for you. So um, with that said, a um, couple things real quick to go over. Um, here at Hangster's Hot Rods, um, always keep in mind that the retail price that we have these marked at, it includes um, the shipping to anywhere within the 48 contiguous states. Um, it's also going to include our Hangster's 3,000 
uh, mile, three month long warranty on the powertrain. So that's anything motor, transmission, rear end, um, anything internally lubricated items, it will cover that. Um, and if we do the paperwork up for you, you'll get all of that information. You'll be able to read through all of that stuff. Uh, as far as add-ons, um, if there is anything at all um, that you're maybe wanting to have installed on the vehicle, possibly not this one, if you're maybe looking at a different vehicle, always remember to reach out to us, you know, give us a phone call, shoot us an email, send us a text, let us know what it is you're wanting to possibly add. We'll be more than happy to get you a quote on that and uh, you know, get you answers regarding whatever your additions may be to these cars. Um, with that said, we're done with our walk around and kind of showing you under the hood and so forth. What we're going to do next is get this up on our lift. We'll show you the complete underside. Again, you're going to be definitely happy with the looks of this thing from underneath. And then we'll get the motor fired up and let you hear what that engine sounds like. Hey folks, so here we are now. We've got our 1974 Ford Bronco here up on the lift. We're going to go through this just like we do all of our other vehicles. Uh, let you know what we have on this vehicle as far as running gear, steering, suspension, um, drive line, all of that type of thing. Just like we do all of our other vehicles. Um, now again, with this being such a big, tall vehicle, um, we do have a little bit of a head clearance issue, but luckily I'm on the shorter side, so it doesn't affect me so much. But anyways, on the front end of our 74 Ford Bronco here, we can see that this car does have obviously a lift on it. Um, now it uh, appears as though it does have a body lift, um, but I'm going to guess also from looking at the suspension now that we're underneath it, um, that it does have a suspension lift. I don't know the exact height of that lift, um, but again, you can get a good uh, grasp of that by looking at our uh, walk around video of the exterior of this car. You'll see how kind of how high it is and so forth. You can kind of base it off of that. Uh, as far as all of our steering and suspension components up front, everything has been gone through, checked out, all of the, uh, the ball joints, all of your bushings, uh, any kind of tie rods and so forth. Just keep in mind, that's what we do here. We check everything out. We make sure it's all good roadworthy stuff. If there's anything that needs replaced, we do that. Uh, we'll grease everything up, make sure it's all well maintained and everything's good to go for you. So that's that on the suspension. So it's all been checked out. As far as this uh, front differential here that we see, this is a Dana 44 uh, front diff on this. So a good rugged uh, differential here. So whenever you're wanting to do some four wheeling in it, if you would need that, you can just go ahead and put that in four wheel drive. Again, that's what this vehicle is. It is a four wheel drive. Uh, and then you've got the power going through that front diff as well as the rear. Now, if we go back just a little bit here so that I can see a few more things here, um, it is a power steering vehicle. So that's gonna help you turn. Plus with it having the lift on it, you're gonna see here that we've got the front steering stabilizer. That's gonna take a lot of that wobble out of this vehicle and make it a lot more stable. As far as brakes go, we have power brakes on this vehicle. It's disc brakes up front. We'll see that it is drum brakes out on the rear as we get to that point. Uh, as far as shocks and springs, everything's all in good shape here. Again, like I said, all of your bushings and so forth, all in great condition. Uh, wheels and tires, obviously with it having a lift, they're gonna go a little bit bigger on the wheel and tire size. Um, we've got 18 inch wheels. These are a Dale Earnhardt Jr. Series American Racing wheel. Um, they are very nice as you've seen from our uh, exterior video. Uh, and then on this car for uh, tires, for rubber, we do have the Nitto uh, Terra Grapplers. Um, and these are size 325, 65R18s. And these things are just like brand new. Uh, the tread on these is in great shape as you can see in the video. Um, as I'm standing underneath engine and transmission now, let's go over the drive line. So as far as that goes, we have a 302 cubic inch small block Ford engine in this thing to power it. Um, the oil pan, as I'm looking underneath here, 
all looks dry around all, all of your mounting holes and so forth for that gasket, even back at the drain plug, nice and dry. If we look at the transmission here, we've got a C4 automatic transmission. And again, that trans pan, nice and dry all the way around. Exhaust system coming off of our 302 small block Ford. Um, this is a JBA um, shorty style headers on this, and they are ceramic coated. Dual exhaust all the way back, and then it's got a set of brand new accelerator turbo style mufflers with, ex uh, with the tailpipes that exit right out underneath that rear bumper. We'll see that a little better as we get a little further back. The frame and the floors on this Bronco are in excellent condition. The frame rails, super, super straight all the way from front to back. All of your floors that I can see here are all in great shape. Good, solid. Um, looking around, uh, what I usually look for is anywhere where it may have been patched. I don't see that uh, anywhere underneath here. It looks like all good, solid metal. And you can all see like all the stamping lines and so forth in all of the floor pans in this vehicle. Of course, your brake lines and your fuel lines and everything, those are all run along the frame. Um, it does have the dual fuel tanks here also, both of which are functional. So you've got your tank right here. You've also got the tank out in the back. You've got the dual uh, fuel fill doors out on the side of the vehicle. As far as the rear suspension goes, obviously you can see it's got that multi-leaf rear suspension on it. Again, all of your shocks, the shock bushings and so forth, all in great shape. Um, let me slide up here just a little bit further here. I did forget to talk about the transfer case. Again, that is super dry everywhere. No leaks present uh, on the engine transmission or transfer case or any of the differentials on this front or rear. Drive shafts are all in great condition. Universal joints all checked out and all in great condition also. Um, so back here, this differential on your rear here, this is a nine inch Ford. It is a posi unit with a 342 gear in it. Uh, as I said, it does have the drum brakes uh, back here on the rear of the vehicle. Um, I'm trying to look here. Um, yep, everything, like I said, all of your bushings on your shocks and so forth, all in good shape. Uh, we've already gone over the wheels and tires. Your uh, fuel tank here in the back, all looks good here too. All of your brake lines and so forth, nice and dry as well. And like I said, we have those dual, uh, the tailpipes that exit right out underneath this rear bumper, that chrome rear bumper there. It also has the, uh, the trailer hitch right up there too, in case you're wanting to do any of that. But again, keep in mind, if you do, you're probably gonna wanna have a drop hitch of some sort. Cause again, this vehicle does sit up a little bit and you're probably never gonna be, you know, towing anything very, very heavy with this vehicle. Um, so it is more than capable of doing some light towing and so forth. Um, so with that said, that's pretty much everything on our 74 Ford Bronco underneath here. Um, what we'll do is we'll go ahead now, lower this down off the lift, and like we do with all of our other vehicles, fire this engine up and let you hear exactly what this motor and this exhaust system all sound like. <laughs> 